arriving. And as all of us Swedes who lives in the dark and cold for so many months, we really thirst the sun. So we spend all the time we possibly can outside. Even though we had a great tropical adventure not so long ago, which you can follow in my previous video, there's nothing better than Swedish summer. You can actually say that it's a part of Swedish culture to bloom up when the sun arrives, because the phenomenon doesn't seem to appear in constantly warm countries. We're like bears who sleeps through the whole winter to be filled with energy when the temperature is above 15 degrees Celsius. In our family, we really value traditions. And when we celebrate Easter in Sweden, we decorate the birch twigs with feathers and eggs. For us, it's really important to include our children in this. We want them to feel really excited and involved in our traditions and for them to become a natural part of their lives. Our daughter made a few Easter cards using potatoes as stamps, which she then got to send by herself to her friends. Hey, little On Monday first day, we dressed her as a påskkärling, an Easter witch, which is a Swedish tradition. So many people were so happy to see her when we went outside. Ska jag gå ut och leta? Ja! Jag har sett på mina tåna kläder. Ja, ja, vi måste leta efter äggen. We were also lucky to have two easter egg hunts. Ja! Hittar du ditt ägg? <laughs> Since we don't give our children any added sugar, I usually make candy to her using gelatin and berries or fruit, which I did to these Easter eggs as well. Mm. Yeah. 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 The legend says that these Easter witches flies on their brooms to Blåkulla to return on Easter. So children traditionally dress up as these Easter witches with painted freckles and pink cheeks. Sweden has a very tragic history when it comes to witches and witchcraft, where around 400 women were executed for being accused by children for witchcraft in the late 1600s. The children competed of bringing the best stories and also got paid by the church for them. Later, these children withdraw their stories and admitted that they had been lying. Actually, I myself have a lot of ancestors from the most affected places in the north of Sweden, and some of them were accused of witchcraft and executed. Imagine having children and being accused by some child for these kind of lies, and then being executed for them. Some of the small villages in the north didn't have many women left after these executions. Du hittade påskäggen. Där är vart det? Har du påskkaran lagt den där? Trollen. Var det trollen som hade lagt den där? Trollägg? Jaha. There has been so much going on in our lives and one major thing was that my dear husband was going to the military for two weeks. 
He had his birthday right before he was leaving, so we celebrated it with family and friends. My husband is part-time employed and goes into the military for a couple of weeks every season. This was the first time for our daughter to be away from him for so long, and she's now big enough to understand what's happening. Hey, Gumman! Where's your papa? Och vad, vad ska Saga och mamma och Thor göra? Oh. I was now going to be alone with our two children 24-7 during these two weeks. Even though I'm used to taking care of them both during daytime, it's a bit different when you have no one to share the day with and without any break at all. We missed him so much and our daughter talked to people outside about her dad being in the military. It was really sweet to see how proud she was but also very heartwarming to see how much she thinks of her dad and loves him. Why that? This is a uh, tub. Your dad. An enhörning. Yeah. Is it blood? Oh, blood. Yeah. Oh, it's a No, man. What is it? No, man. During this time, I had a few missions, and one of them was making 80 invitation cards to our baby boy's name-giving ceremony, which we're having this summer. I know that you can buy these kind of cards, but I enjoy making them, and I also like to make something special to our guests, because they're all really special to us. What's going on? Your turn card. En korv? Ja, mm. oh, det kan du få. In Sweden we celebrate Valborg, a tradition where we light a great fire and it's from the Middle Ages. In Sweden, youngsters knocked on doors and sang and danced in order to earn some money for festivities. And when they started to ring the church bells to gather crowds, it was forbidden. Instead, they light a fire to gather people. There are also other meanings behind the fire, such as burning away the old to give space for the new, but also to protect farmers' animals from predators. After our celebration, Saga became obsessed with the song that they sing, so now we're listening to it many times every day. This was actually my first time celebrating Valborg without my husband since I met him. But me and the children, we met up with some friends and visited Skansen, a park with Nordic animals and Nordic buildings. Oi, oi, oi. And? Hur många ska vi ha? Sex stycken ska vi ha. Och lite mycket. Ett, två, tre! Me and Saga really likes baking. And since we don't give our children sugar, we need to be inventive in the kitchen when baking. These cinnamon buns have dates in them instead of sugar. Är det fint? I don't really like baking with dates as much because they're really sweet as well. But these buns are just for special occasions and we'll go into the freezer. When my husband was finally coming home from the military, we bought some flowers to him and the man in the flower shop actually made Saga her own little bouquet of pink flowers for free just because she said that she loves pink flowers. Actually, this is the first time ever I'm buying him flowers because he isn't really a flower guy, but I just felt like buying it this time. When we were united again, we enjoyed more of the great pre-summer weather. Springer du runt, runt, runt. Go! Our next project for the season was to plant. I'm not experienced when it comes to planting, but I'm very confident. 
I think it's so fulfilling to grow your own plants and use them in your cooking. Oj, jag har gått lite sämre. Lite sämre? Jag menar att det är så gott sämre. Har du? Nej. Vilken tycker du ska bli roligast, Saga? Det. Det blir bra. Det är mamma. Ja, det är sämre. Är du vackna? Ja. Precis. Får du ta lite gjort så här? Och lägga i. And I also think it's a great learning experience for children, for them to understand what it takes to make food and where good food should come from. It shouldn't be mass produced in chemical factories, but grown in soil in our nature. But since we don't have a garden, a balcony will do. I chose plants I think will be appreciated by our daughter, such as edible plants and flowers, and also some herbs to use when I cook. I involved our daughter in the planting last year, but she was a bit too little to fully understand the concept. But now she seems like the perfect age to learn. I think that the part she enjoyed the most was digging in the dirt, so it took a lot of cleaning after we were done. Planting isn't just a one day project. You have to move the plants to bigger pots when they grow. You have to water them, give them nutrition and taking care of them on a daily basis. And you also need to make them adjusted to the outdoor climate before you put them outside. All of these things are great ways of learning children patience, nurturing, responsibility and knowledge about nature. Mamma, har du lagt några blommor där? Var hittar du dem? Aha. Saga had her own transparent pot where you can see the root system through. A pot where she has the full responsibility over the plants. How fulfilling isn't it to see the little peas we're finally getting after weeks of waiting? We're so proud. <laughs>